Ladies and gentlemen, coming out wearing the green is a Super 32 and Iron Man medalist and Cheesehead champion from the state of Colorado, currently ranked number two. Let's give it up for Ty Ice. There you see Ty Ice out of Colorado coming to the mat. Gonna have his hands full with number one, Angelo Ferrari, but what an incredible opportunity for Ty Ice. Yeah, this is a guy that's put together a really nice sophomore year last year, now entering his junior year, an opportunity to make a huge statement against Angelo Ferrari, who's been number one for an entire year. In the red, a two time Ironman champion, and who's number one winner from the state of Texas, currently ranked number one, Angelo Ferrari. That Eminem walkout song once again for Angelo Ferrari. And uh, last time he was in a four man, this time just one match. He's trying to be number one in the time span of seven minutes. He became number one a year ago at who's number one. He's held on to it ever since. Trying to stay on top is Angelo Ferrari. Ferrari, of course, an Iowa commit. Made a big splash with his announcement. Ty Ice just starting the recruiting process, still uncommitted. Handshake, and we are underway in the red. That's Angelo Ferrari in the black Ty Ice out of Colorado. Hard club there from Ice. Ferrari, so many different ways to score. He's got a plethora of attacks and then defensively just almost impossible to take down. Hand on the map for Angelo so far. Remember, this is folk style of NCAA rules. The new NCAA rules on display. Neutral danger zone, three-point takedown, three-point near fall, all of it you're going to see tonight. Collar tie for Angelo Ferrari, 225. Remaining in this first period. And seven minutes, definitely an adjustment for these wrestlers. None of them have been in matches of this length for regulation. Yeah, and you know, adjustments from a lot of the NCAA rules, the three point takedown. Curious when we'll see the first one of those here, who's number one. And Angelo kind of alerting the ref to the fingers, and they break it up. Don't want to see the interlocking fingers. Ferrari wrestles out of Melissa, Texas. Not a ton of national competition throughout the year, but a two-time Ironman champ, and of course, got the win last year at who's number one. There's a shot. Nice single leg attempt there, but good down block by Ty Ice. Castle Rock, Colorado, same hometown as Malik Heinzelman, Ohio State wrestler, 125 pounder. Ferrari complaining that Ice led with the head, and that was a really hard hand fight of nothing else there. Popping at the head is Ty Ice with that left hand. During his interview yesterday, Ferrari said that he's been trying to work on improving his scramble game, which was already at an extremely high level. See if that comes into play. Yeah, I would have credited the, the scrambling for his win at who's number one a year ago. Some of his counter scores off of leg attacks on full display. So far, hasn't got the opportunity to show it. No one really gotten to a leg at this point. A minute 10 in. A lot of times, you describe a wrestler as either explosive or a scrambler. He's got both. Very calculated start here. One less than a minute to go. I know Ferrari has a lot of confidence in his counter offense and his mat wrestling, so he may be thinking that Ice needs to bring the match to him. Possibly, he's been trying to get that underhook on the right side pretty consistently, not been able to get a good hand fighting from Ty Ice. Ice bringing a yeah, physical hand fight as you mentioned. Ferrari with that last snap, really hard, creating some motion, but hasn't try to blast through one of those openings yet. Now just 12 seconds to go. See if anyone tries to steal a takedown right at the end. Ferrari very much control and center. But and we may have to wait another period for that first three point takedown. Curious how the mat game comes into play. 
Ice looks like he's bleeding. He's also going to have choice. And they may take care of the blood before he gets to choose. Ferrari so has he has turns on top. I'm curious if Ice is going to go underneath here or if he'll defer. Different schools of thought, you know. Some people say get the first point and have that advantage for for overtime and that's not as much of a factor with you know a two minute sudden victory and all the other things in front. And there Ice for sure jumped the gun. Trying to get a jump. Respecting the top game of it, Angelo Ferrari, and he's going to get one caution. Claw on that right side for Angelo. Ferrari with a crazy wingspan, and you see him getting that spiral ride. Out on his toes, tried to jump side. Not able to do so. Ferrari committed to Iowa, and over in his corner, his, his father and also Alex Marinelli. Four-time Big Ten champ for the Hawks. Riding really t tough with the claw so far. He's bleeding again, his tie ice, so he'll get himself a restart. He's got to get cleaned up. I don't think we got any blood time in the, in the women's card. Now, first match we got... Got doubles of the nosebleeds. We got blood. We need a little coagulation to go on yeah. here. Yeah. That's what we're hoping for. I'm looking up to my right and seeing a whole bunch of Division I coaches in the yeah. house. Uh, Iowa really excited about Ferrari, and I believe we have close to a full coaching staff in attendance for yeah. Ferrari. Yes, I see Coach Brand straight across from us as we have a restart here. Ice up to his feet, and he gets away. Only 45 seconds of riding time. So that's big for Ice to avoid giving up that riding time and most importantly, not giving up a turn. A shot there, attempt from Ty Ice. Can't get in, front headlock now. And now it's Ferrari dropping down to the leg and an attack, head inside shot. Now turning, kicking out of bounds and not gonna get the two on the edge here. What? Oh, there it is. Wow, they called it and, and Ferrari had collected that ankle but definitely didn't bring him to a hip. I would be surprised if we don't see a challenge here out of Ice's corner. Whoa. Okay. But maybe not. And there, that wingspan you mentioned coming into play there as he's able to track down that far ankle. I didn't think he had it. I'd love to get another look at that one too. And 3 1, mentioned the counter offense of Ferrari. Ice took that shot. He backed out immediately, felt the danger. Ferrari able to capitalize anyway. So, three point takedown for Angelo Ferrari. So, he takes a Two-point lead now is riding time over a minute. And climbing, that's huge. Nose plug of ice on the mat. We'll see if blood time comes into effect, but Ferrari now pulling that wrist out, trying to break ice down. 13 to go in the second period. 10 seconds to go in the second period. Ice could really use it an escape here. He's also going to need another nose plug. Blood all over his arm and Ferrari's. And we'll have a little more blood time at the period break as it'll be Ferrari's choice as we head to the third period. And it'll take a 3-1 advantage into the third period. Ferrari so far not scoring a lot of points, but also not conceding any position. And you see that tough ride on top getting out of the side creates a ton of pressure running, those, running on those toes. Nose plug in for Ice. He's wrestled a lot of this match really well, but man, just any little position and Ferrari can capitalize. And his defense and position is, is what's going to make him a really tough wrestler at the next level right away. Someone that can make a potentially a transition. To wrestle as a true freshman, his brother wrestled as a true freshman, was the NCAA champion for Oklahoma State. And Angelo gonna go under to start the third period. And now it's Ty Ice with a claw ride of his own. 
Looking for hand control there, but grabbing that wrist. Good job by Ty Ice so far, but now looking to seal off is Angelo, but staying behind the arms now, kicking him free. 4-1 gonna be the lead for Angelo Ferrari, so not only that, but 118 riding time advantage for Ferrari, so could potentially still earn that riding time point. Ice gonna need to open up, but remember, down by three, he can tie this with a takedown in 18 seconds of riding time. Collar and a wrist, stutter fake there by Angelo Ferrari. Ty Ice down to his last minute here. Got to start getting some combinations going, firing off an attack. Unlikely for Ferrari's going to beat himself. He's going to have to go and take it. Ice tested the waters on a single leg attempt in the second period. And look at this. Now Angelo runs underhook to a single. Kicks out. And they're going to have a stall warning against Ice. Probably well-deserved there when you kick out of bounds like that. Well-deserved, but also, what do you have to lose if your eyes kick out and get a fresh start? Yes. 40 seconds to go. Good level change from Angelo. Get to it. Gotta get one. Fingers. Ready to roll. Go. Yeah. Yeah. 25 left. Ball is in Ice's court right now. And Nice sweep single. Shin Wizard from Ty Ice coming up to his feet now as Angelo Ferrari, 15 seconds to go. Can he shut the door here on this match with a second takedown of the bout? Eight seconds to go, trying to slip that boot in Mayu, but going leg inside, now close to two. Could Ty Ice get the counter takedown? And they're gonna go three at the end, and then two reversal. I, at and least the reversal, I think, happened after the whistle had blown. Regardless, Either way, there's a riding time point. Angelo Ferrari's gonna win this match. The question is, what will be the score? Final score. Should be Angelo Ferrari the winner regardless. There's nothing really to, they're looking at it, but I don't know why, because with the riding time point, even if, yeah, you want to get the score, right? So, I guess for the record. Yeah. But yeah, looking up to that coach's area, I see uh, a familiar face in new clothes, Rob Cole in his UNC polo and hat with Tony Ramos, the newly named head coach at UNC, Rob Cole, back to his alma mater, University of North Carolina. A lot of schools represented up there. I see. Yeah, I see Chris Bono, John Reeder, Joe Dubuque, Jared Hot, Tom Brands. It's kind of dark up there, so I can't see them all, so. Enoch Francois up there, Brian oh, yeah. Smith, Dom Bradley. There's a lot more, but yeah, you're right. It is, it is dark. On review, no takedown. So no takedown. So it's going to be a 5-1 or 4-1 final Let's for Angelo. Winner from Texas, Angelo Ferrer. Congrats to Angelo. Ferrari, he had to look around for the camera before he found the flex. Yeah, that's important. What's the point? If you're gonna flex, what's the point without a camera? Yeah. So let's take a look at some of the action. There's that counter attack Ferrari used to get that takedown. On the edge, I still, I still yeah. am not certain that was two or three. Pardon me. 